y'all favorite creators got y'all coming into my comment section and calling me a pick me asking that they pick me and then the men are responding back to y'all and saying that they would pick me and then you're getting upset that the men are telling you that they would pick me and you making comments talking about they all would but none of them are taking home dates and making an honest woman out of her your daddy didn't make an honest woman out of your mama how long have you been friends 10 years, yeah, 10 years. 10, 10, going on 11 yeah. years in that time period have you never had feelings for each other no like he's been just a, such a great friend so like i couldn't like see the other side of it could you ever see her being your wife one day? It's possible. I mean, it's possible. I cannot stand how the news has been dogging Gen Z and calling them lazy for not wanting to work a 9 to 5 for the rest of their lives. Let me put it in perspective for everybody who's a little confused here, okay? I work five days out of the week, 40 hours a week, okay? I do not make enough to live on my own. I would not make enough to pay rent, water, electric, and eat. Flexing. It's nice outside oh, and we're we're back. Back. Podcast, man. We're back. Hey. Yeah, man. Look at that right Welcome there. Back. <laughs> yeah, I mean, guess who's Bazak? Still selling crack on my clothes. Don't let all of us relapse on you hoes. Don't get yes, relapsed yes, on. Yes. It's the summertime. I'm, I'm tired of y'all marketing yourselves, and then the minute I'm marketing myself, then it's a problem. Shoot your shot. Yeah. You know I, mean? <laughs> I mean, we hey, listen. You know I mean? We in the soft guy era. Drizzle, drizzle. Really? Really? <laughs> oh, man. Please tell me you're not like the rest of those women out there who are upset because upset you know I mean? men are, we are feeling ourselves now. No, I'm not upset about anything. It's about okay. time we shine the light on ourselves. <laughs> and y'all y'all really should. Yeah, exactly. Like, everyone should shine a light on yourself. Like, whether you're a male or a female or, you yeah, know. but we know that it's Or any of those other pronouns. Ladies first and all this other stuff. <laughs> we, never, we never took the time to, you know, shot ourselves out. So now we like, Really? You, know you don't think so? No, we, we ne it's never been about what we want. It's just like. Yeah, right. How? When? Name I can't tell. Name. It's always about what the hell y'all want. How? To me. Yeah. Wait, listen. Get me on that soft guy era. <laughs> yeah, right. Right there. Yeah. Whatever y'all say. Hey, man, listen. Listen, let me tell y'all something, man. We got a great show for y'all tonight. As yeah. usual. Five As viral usual. videos. That's right. Five viral videos. You know what I mean? Sit back. Uh, with, now, I'm going I'm to switch it up. Sit back, grab some popcorn, have some laughs with us. Be Just don't be chewing all loud while, yeah. while we, you know, so you can hear everything. And make sure you comment, <laughs> subscribe, and like, you know. You know, yeah. you know, that's one thing I never got. Like, why they got popcorn, you know, in the movies and it's like so loud. You can't even hear the way people be chewing sometimes. Hold on. First of all, what, what, what popcorn? And what <laughs> kind of popcorn did they be served at the movie theater you go know. to? <laughs> what about that ain't loud. <laughs> say, what movie theater did you go to? Like the Tubi movie movie theater? But that, that, that screen is big. Like, and that, damn. <laughs> that screen is damn. humongous and that sound is loud. Yeah, that, you turn around like, you must got an elephant Excuse behind you. Me? <laughs> Are you eating crackers or pop <laughs> or pop rocks? <laughs> oh, man, Jesus Christ, man! All right, let me make sure. Let me make sure we got the very first video set up. I want to get everything set up, man. Cause I ain't yeah. trying to hear. I ain't trying to hear T mouth. Yeah, don't. Why, well, I don't even understand why you even say it. Just do it. Just have it ready. That's all I'm saying. Just drizzle, drizzle. It's it said again. Like yeah, drizzle, drizzle. <laughs> yeah, I'm saying it's all got error, baby, for 2024 20, and 2020 mm. and beyond. I, well, I was just good for two years, but and beyond, and sounds beyond. Good. <laughs> all right, listen again. Sit back, enjoy the show. Sit your five dollar ass down before we make change. He's five dollars. I'm not. I said sit so your they're five dollars. See, see, Wait, see, a woman. See, what are you, you see, you see. Just like a black woman. Don't just listen. like a black woman. <laughs> Not listening. Just want to respond. I ain't no five dollars. <laughs> like, yeah, I not said we not never even. said you was the five dollars. <laughs> not even listening hey, to what we hey, saying. Exhibit A. I'm awake. I'm awake today. Yeah, I'm awake today. Mm, okay, okay. What? What? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. What? Oh, you know what? We got. We got a few more minutes. We got a few more minutes. So how was your day, G? 
Today we on schedule was, today. Oh, today was a bit challenging, like the whole entire day. But I mean, I made it through. You know, was it work or was it the hose or both? What hose? I ain't got no uh, hose. Okay, I'm at, mm. my man, CJ. How's your day, bro? Man, my day was uh, it was good. Um, well, I worked from home. I had a little uh, had a little dental situation this morning, so if I'm throwing like a little lift with something, it's just <laughs> it's got that fatness. You know, I had to get I had to get my gippers right for the summer because I don't want to be outside. You know, we, we we monetize now. We might be on a billboard or something. Yeah, gotta have your teeth right. Yeah, you listen, he don't he don't want to eat no coochie with bad choppers, y'all. Yeah, no man, no you can't be doing <laughs> like that. Look at that. Okay. Okay. You don't want to get it right. Get yeah. it right. Get it tight. Comment with that one right there. Yeah, yeah, you, know, I mean, you want to be a good coochie eater? You got to make it go. You got to get the shit. Right. Can't hit her with that vampire Ooh. tooth. It's over. Let for me you. let me tell you something. That just that just brought back a memory. This oh, guy shit. that I was telling talking to one time, and he was telling me how this one girl. I guess she had like a, a sharp tooth. Oh, oh my him? God. He oh. said that shit. He said he had to tell her to stop. She said, oh, just stop. Stop, please. He said he had a scratch all on. Vampire, oh that, vampire, Boy, say, yeah. that vampire tooth is no joke. Oh my no gosh. Joke. That's why, fellas, just listen to me. When you first meet a girl, you know, hit her with the hit her up under here, like, girl, let me see that smile. Let me see, yeah, that, see, that see if she got that vampire tooth. Be careful. He like, oh hell no, nah. yeah. hell no. Nah. Well, shave it down for it. Help <laughs> out. No, that's, a, that's oh, about boy. a five hundred dollar yeah. procedure. There you go. Anyway, <laughs> so let's go to video number one, y'all. Video well, number I, one. How was your day, Carla? My, yeah. my day, my day was good. Yeah, it was so good. we can ask you. Well, my day is, is is way better now because I got my family here. Hey, I mean, hey. we doing the this dish joint. Yeah, you say because you always like, you know, bullying me. So, you know. Whoa. I never bully you. Here you at this do joint so. podcast, we I, do I not condone bullying. I show you love mm -hmm. in a very unique, Bullish unique, yes, way. a very I, unique way. You know what, CJ? I just know the words. <laughs> <laughs> I just know the words. Yeah, was, anyway, let's go to video number one, y'all. Let's go. So, cultural influences on crime rates debate the impact of music and community norms. Okay. Yeah, We're going to credit Inspire Life Moment for this video here. May be very little interesting. Let's go with Peanut. Okay. There, man. Come on, Peanut. Peanut. I'm with you. Peanut, kick it off. It is this John Podcast. Oh. Yeah. Let's go. Because black women divorced black men and married the government. And do you think that's a problem inherent to black people? No, it's not. It's happening now in white communities and Hispanic communities. It's just the worst in black America. And why do you think that is? Why Why is it the worst in black America? There's also a cultural problem. There is, and okay, we have to be so honest it's just, about it. It's just that black people are. are no, no, let me ask you a question. Like the, the average music that a black person in Compton is listening to, is it about contemplating the good, the true, and the beautiful, or is it about being a gangbanger and trying to get as much money and sleep with as, about, as many girls as you can? I would actually like to think that's a I would be offended by that do you think <laughs> the my, average black kid rap. in Compton is listening to Beethoven or some sort of gangster rap music that glorifies gangster culture silly question rap wasn't created to glorify gangster culture so even though there is okay, rap I mean, I'm sure they're doing you're, you're dodging the question because okay, I'm sure they're listening to rap okay that, so you think you rap go. music makes them no, leave I'm their not. mom do you think the cultural expectation in black America is that you stay with the woman that you impregnate um within black communities i can't speak on that okay the answer is no it's not it's not expected okay and do you in, think in, that in, is... hold on in white anglo-saxon protestant communities oh, okay. it's a fact hold on in upper middle class white communities upper middle class say that part louder yeah upper middle class white anglo-saxon protestant communities if you impregnate a woman you are looked down upon and we do not think highly of you if you abandon the woman that you impregnate mm -hmm. that's a cultural difference has nothing to do with money has nothing to do with anything except norms and the norms that have infected black America are destroying it from within. We need more fathers, not less. We need more dads around and less drag queen story hour. We need more we need more young blacks to to be able to look up. Whoa, oh I, I, boy, he cut him deep I, with I, that I, right I there. A little attacked yeah. there. Well, well, I mean, you shouldn't. See, see, you know, in in some ways I do agree with him. Okay, I do it, agree was, with, it was maybe like one the thing at part. the end. Like, what, I don't what? agree with the music because oh, oh, rap is not gangster. 
all rap is not gangster music. But, but most of the music you hear now, most of the music you hear, see, they don't understand the difference between gangster and that yeah, slutty rap. Yeah, them, yeah, yeah, to them, to them. Right. Search first before you just come out and just publicly start saying crap. That's why I said I understand exactly where he was coming from. Some parts <laughs> I agree with, especially with the, with the music, because the music, it, it, they, they seem to be pushing this whole prison agenda. You know, I mean, this, you know, get money, have sleep around mm -hmm. with as many men and women as you can. So how about Bad this? And, and let's, and let's just bust this little bubble ends. for a second. Because this is my thing. <clears throat> okay. I don't understand where he, where his emotion and all that stuff is coming from. He seems a little passionate. So, but that's also at the same time on this platform, if you want to be speaking publicly, do your research. I literally just looked it up. 28% of the recipients on welfare are black higher mm -hmm. percentage is of right white people so he just averages. said that is more black people on welfare than whites that's not true i literally just looked it up there are there are more of the caucasians than there are blacks. yeah it's just law of, law yeah. of averages yeah. there's more of them yeah. so it has to be more of them because they just make up more i mean we only more make up the, the population yeah, yeah, don't sit there and say that it's a cultural thing well it is it is cultural but it's a little bit deeper so he he hit some points, but he didn't go into the whole thing. So at the end of the day, it's, it's solely, not solely, but the, the biggest point is the socioeconomic part. We don't have the resources that those other white Anglo-Saxon upper middle class. And we mentioned they have, that. We they, mentioned that before. They have those. They have those resources. So we don't have those. So that's where the lack comes. So then, of course, if you don't have the resources, then you got the mother and the father working. And if the mother and the father is working, who's working with the child? So then when mm -hmm. the mother and father comes home, they got to prepare food. And so there's no time to really uh, rear the child or nurture the child. I always say, like, when your kid is passionate or something, that should be your clue that, OK, if my kid is banging on the table all the time. Let me take they him to a drum to, yep. session or something. <clears throat> so yep. but I don't mm -hmm. got time because I'm trying to work. I'm trying to keep, you know, the lights on in here. So it's like the way he was saying it was saying it like. You know, it is a cultural norm. Yeah, but, but it it's, seemed more like an attack. Though. But it's, it's 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 a cultural norm because when I go make a music and I'm, I'm going to make a music, we'll make a song and the song says, I know I can be what I want to be. If I work hard at it, I'll be where I want to yeah, be. That's, that's Nas made a song Nas, like that. That ain't his right. most famous song. The radio didn't really push that until. But when you hear FBs get money. The, the 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 record labels they're pushing that so a lot of this music yeah that we, but that's 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 African American music but we not even touching the the white music no but I'm just their music is not the best either sometimes if you listen to their lyrics but it's the music that they that they um distribute that they market they market Taylor Swift again um Katy Perry had a song years ago I kissed a girl and I like yes. it that's lesbianism but nobody talked about it as lesbian it was just oh this is fun. Whereas, you know, Sexy Ray and Asukiana and them, they'll promote that music and they'll call it. Again, they just had Sexy Ray on the uh, on tour with, I don't want to get it wrong. I think it might have been Luke Bryan or one of them country singers. She didn't come out and sing a word. She came on the stage, turned her ass around and started twerking in front of the crowd. You know what that was for? Because I want to show y'all what, what, what we think of the black woman. We're going to put this black woman in front of all these white people. And we're going to show her this is what she do so that they can go home and say, see, this is what the black girl does. So he was saying some things that made sense. Yes, we have, it's, it's up to us to break the cultural norms. So we shouldn't allow like we shouldn't allow our kids to just listen to uh, again that. What, what is that? Yeah, drill, I like that but also should, at the same yeah. time, we not we, allow we've that. made this clear before that it starts at home and it starts with breaking those generational um, mindsets. You know, so if you have. OK, a, a mother, a teenage mother, and she's like immature and she's teaching her kids to do what she did instead of teaching them better. It's going to continue. It's like a revolving cycle. But so yeah. at the it's end hard. of the day, it's hard to break. Yeah, hold, hold on. Let me let me give a shout out to El Boogie. <laughs> just came in the building. My man, El yes, Boogie, uh, what's good, bro? Ski. Hey, big shout out to El Boogie. You know what I mean? Like, well, I let that go back. Who was that going? Who was that passing? No, to? I, was I, that pass I, to? I was just going to say, like, at the end of the day, uh, one of my friends, she is not from the inner city, and she uh, kept saying to me, she's like, I don't understand, like, like I'm here in the city, and just the way people move, the stuff they do, like, I, I don't get it. I don't understand 
like why they why do they live like this and i had to break it down to her like if all you've experienced in your life is mediocre how do you know it's mediocre like they say the saying goes in order to experience joy you need pain mm -hmm. in order if, you know you, you you won't know what what joy is if you've never understood the other side of it so a lot of these people they they really are ignorant they don't know they don't know that the projects is not some a place that you four or five generations should live. They don't yeah. know that. Because guess what? When I get up, my mom is here. My grandmom is here. My aunts is here. All of my friends are here. Their grandmom's there. So we don't know until we're exposed to other things. I remember one time. This is my last point. I remember one time my dad was a teacher in South Philly. He took the kids to the zoo. I mean, this is fifth through eighth grade. We're not talking about five-year-olds. So we're talking right about now. some... You know some kids that should have experienced some things he gets to these pink birds i'm explaining it for you what is a pink bird with the long legs what are you asking us asking i'm asking i'm asking an ostrich no no no, no. um a flamingo. What's, what's, what are they called flamingo 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 they were <laughs> flamingos in the zoo my dad said the kids ran up to the little bar Oh my gosh, look at that chicken. <laughs> oh God. I don't know. I don't know. That's, I don't know. that's, I the, don't know. that's the only bird they were have ever been exposed to. They didn't even say turkey. He said all of the kids said, chicken. look at that big chicken. Because that's all they knew. So yeah. it's just oh, exposure. If you don't right. know anything, you just don't know. You don't know. And that's the thing that we have to break first. With with the invention of social media and the internet, that now there's no excuse, especially our age. Because we're that last age of pre-technology right. so our generation we should be teaching the youngest hey listen it's more than life than just this for that, sure that's for our sure. job for so listen let's go to the comment you know you know what time you know it's that comment time mm -hmm. y'all so check the t I'm, mm -hmm. I'm, 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 t yeah you woke i'm awake all right now god damn it <laughs> first comment <laughs> they love discussing us without us being present now that was my issue <laughs> <laughs> who are you yeah, what you what you say, T? What you say about that? I mean, I agree, but I mean, also at the end of the day, they they want to do it no matter what. They do it behind closed doors. It just so happened to be this man was out in the open. So I mean, it's not going to change anything. Don't discuss <laughs> me without I mean, the, our people discuss us. Well, so we supposed what difference to. does it make? No, we supposed to because again, he's not he's not in the trenches like he's saying. Well, the average kid in Compton, how would you know that? You ain't there. You don't know what they, you don't know that there is, yeah. a, a, you, you see what I'm saying? You don't know that the average kid is listening to that. You just going off what you think. There's programs in our city, stuff like boys track, and there's, there's different things where the kids are doing art, they're doing STEM, you yep. just don't hear about that stuff, so mm -hmm. don't make it mm -hmm. seem like oh, they're yeah, just all you know, in you know, as no, they say, negativity negativity spreads faster and better than positive yeah. things. So there's a lot of positive um, activities and programs in the city because my kids was in all of them. You know, different things. I made sure that they was exposed to a whole lot of different things. But well, I mean, you listen, know, at I was, the end of the day, you know, they only, they only, they only, they only talk about what they see. Yeah, and that's what because it, they that's, really, that's like they're really not in the trenches. Yeah, you're not. They don't see what we see although we know is plenty of of good music out there the only of thing course. they see is the se the sexy, sexy reds red, huh? or the uh, uh glorillas that's and stuff right like now. that yeah yep. yeah because again that's that's the whole agenda that's that, the, that right. the media that's is pushing. the stuff they pushed yeah. out mm -hmm. there so let's go to comment number two i'm black and some of this is true yeah, think? we just said it. A, yeah. a, a lot of it was true. He, what he was saying, he, he was he was telling the truth. Yeah, some of it was true. It. I mean, not all of it, but I mean, yeah. I mean, some of it I think is his perspective. Everyone mm -hmm. has the, has a right to their opinion because that's what I said. Like I literally just looked up, you know, welfare rates. Like what you just said is not true. You know mm -hmm. that it's more black people on welfare than whites. No, that's not true. No, so I, I mean, when it comes uh, again, even when he said the thing about. Uh, they need to be more fathers. I, I just seen now, a study. I agree with that. But, yes, but that's not true because I just seen a study that said that the uh, black men are the are, are, are the black men are the most involved fathers statistically over yeah. everybody else. It was like eighty two percent are are the, now again the ones that are not yeah, there. They there, might not there be is there. still a lot of absent fathers. But the thing about it is there are, but that's not the majority. Uh, again, like they always say with the with the uh, the black men, oh they they marry the white women, they marry outside their race. Eighty eight percent of black men are married to black women. They only going to tell you the part that they want you to hear. Right. So it's like that's not For true. Sure. Yeah, black men are taking care of the kids. The ones that's not, they not. But the ones that's are, it's an overwhelming majority. 
and they don't they won't tell they won't tell you that part. That's the part that they always leave out. Oh yeah, because that's not newsworthy. Let's go to comment number three. Even though I don't agree with anything he with everything he says, music has a big influence on children and how they grow and to become adults. That part is true. Yeah, that's true think? because you got to think about it. Look about in our era. They used to have certain music that they would play on the radio and it was censored. And yeah. then the CDs and the tapes you had to buy from the store. And those were the the albums. They had like the albums and like the CDs and the tapes the where it had the explicit yeah. music. So therefore it was like, okay, you could not buy everything. They didn't make everything available. Now these days everything's online. Everything's on the radio. They don't even blank out the Booty stuff hole, anymore nah. on <laughs> no. the radio. So everything is just like literally out in the open. So yes, that's just to me. That's a big, big deal because I remember I used to be able to try to hide like certain my sons growing up, or let's just say because I was never a big component or parent where I wanted my sons playing with 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 guns, whether it was a toy gun or no. You're not getting no toy gun. We not we not promoting no guns in this house. Yeah. But however, at the end of the day, it's like okay when they are in their friends and their friends' parents allowed them to do that, they were still getting exposed to it. Yes, has he got something to say, bro? I agree again. If if you don't have the time to raise your kid, what's going to raise your kid? The internet going to raise your kid for you. It's going to be the music or the sh and and or the streets. Yeah. And so when they go out into the streets, they again they're not listening to I know I can be what I want to be. They listening to you know whatever. Mm -hmm. Go get some mm -hmm. money, get to shoot the ops up, shoot the block up, all that stuff. So yeah, the music does have a big influence, especially when you're not an influence. So yeah. I agree. Well, I just want to add this before we go to the next video. Me. Music has such an influence, even us adults. Yes, it does. You know what I mean? Because you know, you can you can listen to that song you listen to when you was a kid. You'd be like, "Oh my God, just take this, just just take me back to some good ass memories." Right. You know and what I'm I mean? I'm the type of person I listen to music like all day. Like music is like you know, music has the has a way music, of changing it, it or altering soul. a a person's mood too. Oh, so it real? also depends on what you listen to. Because I'll 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 have my chill moments and I'm listening to my my R and B uh, yeah. or my you know my my you know but then depending on the mood of my i'm in that okay DMX yeah i'm running some dmx <laughs> or some meek hill uh -huh. or some jay-z and i'm hype and i'm like all right <laughs> yeah <So. hey. laughs> hold on did, did you say meat mill or cheek mill meat. Cheek meat. Meat. <laughs> okay. like, oh i'm sorry that sounds like a rye meek Okay. That's a Mr. Sir. Rob hey, Meek. Hey, hey, I don't want no smoke, bro. Oh, I don't want shoot. no smoke, bro. Look, look, oh, I gotta damn. support Philly. Oh, we from Philly, you gotta support Philly, hey, right? But the, come on, you know I'm Philly. We rag on. We rag. You ain't listen, if Yo, you from Philly, you better know how to bust a boy. Mill. That would be crazy. crazy. <laughs> Let me stop, bro. All right, look. Yo. Listen, make sure you drop a like, drop a comment, y'all. Tell us what you think. Like, comment, subscribe. Yeah, I made this joint podcast, man. So let's, let's go to the camera. Shall we go to the second joint? Yes, second. Second joint. So no. we got the sec second video. Second video is being a pick me, good or bad. Ladies. T is being a pick me, good or bad. You know what? It's funny because I never heard of this term before until maybe about a, 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 about a, mo a month ago. Word it's funny. Hell? I was just talking to my girlfriend. Um, that lives in Arizona, and she was like, "Oh yeah, she's a pick me." I said, "What the hell is a pick me?" <laughs> <laughs> All right, we gotta get off. Let's just kick it off, y'all. <laughs> Look, I'm just being honest. Let's go. <laughs> so, y'all favorite creators got y'all coming into my comment section and calling me a pick me, asking that they pick me, and then the men are responding back to y'all and saying that they would pick me, and then you're getting upset that the men are telling you that they would pick me and you making comments come out. They all would, but none of them are taking home dates and making an honest woman out of her. Your daddy didn't make an honest woman out of your mama, but here we are. But the thing I'm trying to understand is how can a man take me on a date if I'm not willing to say yes? Like where, where, where is the disconnect? Where's the elevator not coming up to the top? I don't date. There's no way that a man could take me on a date, Pukisha, if I'm not willing to say yes. I'm going to keep saying it. Y'all have taken the validity out of the word pick me. At one point, it did hold weight. Now it don't. At this point, the whole definition of it is shifting. It's shifting to woman who thinks objectively. That's what pick me is turning into. Any woman who thinks objectively and she don't think with a one-track mind with the rest of women, 
then she has to be a pick me. But I'm sure that this pick me comment ain't going the way you wanted it to. And it's backfiring on you because you didn't expect the men to respond back to you and tell you that they would pick me if I allowed them to. Be for real. Bukisha. Yeah. Bukisha. Let, well, let me see. Let me see if I can pick her real quick. <laughs> Is that her Instagram right there? (laughs) Uh, Listen, so yeah, that was credit. That was her credit. Where's where's, where's, where's her word? Dana Dane. Dana Dane. 1987. I think that's her backup page or something. So 1987, that means she's my age. All right, Dana Dane. Yeah, the T. Start off, T. Is that good or bad being a pick me? What's up? I don't know. So once again, I mean, I'm I'm fairly new to this terminology. Can we tell you what a pick me is? Of well, I mean, I hear it, and I like I said, it was just explained to me to my by my girlfriend. So my thing is, it's like any woman can be a quote unquote quote pick me. However, yeah, if you don't, if you don't, yeah, I'm gonna go there. Huffers. Broke, lonely, huffers, <laughs> huzzies are saying, yes, I said it, huzzies. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, but basically, it's 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 the same thing. It's not changing. It's not changing society on what guys like or what they pick so it's basically the same thing a, a man will pick a wholesome woman but yet and still the huzzies still get picked to an extent for the physical aspect but i mean i don't i don't get it like Wait a minute, didn't, didn't, we, didn't we tell you last week oh my we God. don't love them hoes? I didn't don't say that. We don't really like the hoes. We don't said, love the hoes. That's why I just said for the physical <laughs> aspect. Like, are you not listening? Now, are you not listening? Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> He said, I'm hard here like a black woman. Right. Like, come on. I just said, for the physical aspect, like, I literally threw that in there. <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. CJ, Listen, go ahead. ladies, take it from me. We talking about mature guys now. We gonna we gonna specify that the mature men want the pick me's. We don't want the attitude of uh, the attitude annies. We don't attitude want them. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we don't want the the pop in your neck pams. We don't want them. <laughs> we at, at this age now. Again, I, everybody uses the term peace. It means a lot of different things for men, but at the end of the day. It's just like I don't want. I don't want to come. I'm battling every day when I put that. When I turn that doorknob and I go outside, I'm battling everything right. on the outside. Mm-hmm. You shouldn't have to battle when you come I don't want to come back mm-hmm. and battle you, and then battle you over like small stuff. You see what I'm saying? Like, really, men want partnership. That's what pick me is. Partnership. It's not. Oh, um, I, I, he got to do this for me. He, he got to. I keep. All right, the, you, other, you put a nice little perspective. With the on other lady from from last week. Understand it. What did I say? She talked about. I can't find nobody. All she talked about was her. Yeah. I can't. I'm this. I have that. I have that. A man does not care what you have. Again, when we say, "What do you bring to the table?" That doesn't mean financially. That doesn't mean uh, what emotionally, you can, it, spiritually. It, it means like, "Hey, what do you? How do you? How do you add value into my life?" Yep. And that's why I said it's, it's subjective to everybody. I'm the type of man. I don't ever want to hear a woman say to me if I'm dating a woman, "Oh, well, yeah," because you know I cook and I clean. So do I. And so should everybody else. Yeah. Right. If you're a human and you're an adult, if you're an you should, adult, you better, you should know you better, how to. You better it's be called responsibility. You should know how to cook and clean. So if you <laughs> leave with that, that shows me that if those are your most important characteristics, you probably not for me. I need to. I need you to hear it. Tell me something else that I'm like, oh, okay, damn, I never thought about that. So and, that's and you the know part. what? And another thing for me, like when it comes to like those type of partnerships, it's like okay, it shouldn't be a one way street. Like partnership should be a two way street. I learn from you, you learn from me, we learn from each other. And a lot of times it's like, I remember talking to this one guy one time, he was like, well, you can't, I can't, uh, I can't learn nothing from you because just because you're of a certain culture and I'm of a different culture doesn't necessarily mean we can't learn from each other. He was just so narrow minded. So, yeah. you know. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. That wasn't the guy that uh, you went over, he was upset that you left two o'clock in the morning? No. No, oh, okay. That was a guy, he was I- Israeli. Okay, oh, okay. Out okay. Out clowning, boy. That, that was him. So, look, let's go to the comments. So, comment number one when they don't have a valid, intelligent rebuttal, they call you a pick me. Facts. Is that, that is, facts? That bro? is facts. Because at the end of the day, a woman that can articulate herself and say, hey, listen, I understand that as a woman, um, I, de- I desire things or I should be, uh, I-, I should want certain things, mm-hmm. but that doesn't mean that the man should neither. Or that doesn't mean that his the things that he want is not important or should not come first. 
We can, we can switch roles. Some of my stuff come first sometimes. Some of his stuff come first. They don't see that that way. So then, yeah, that's when they start calling him, oh, you a pick me. I thought the object was to get picked. To get picked. Yeah, you want, you want to get <laughs> so picked. So it's like, you, like y'all, right you want to. But I don't understand what's the purpose yeah. of the terminology. Because like, pick me is basically is disrespectful. It's basically to say you're just saying the, the, the women who don't agree are saying that women are just saying that. So that they could get, get picked. picked by a man. But it's okay. like, no, if you really live that life and that's who you are, you're going to get picked. It yeah. just is what it is. But the, the women that fight against that and you want to be your own woman and be strong and be independent. That's cool. But like my uncle, Kevin Samuel said, buy a dog. <laughs> Die alone. <laughs> Die alone. <laughs> so the comment number two. The comment number two says it's all very confusing. Aren't we supposed to want to be picked? I mean, that's where I'm coming from. That's why I said I'm a little confused. That's why I just asked CJ what I just asked him. So, like, what's the what's the point? Yeah. So, I mean, I don't, I don't understand the, the, the terminology is a little different for me. And I understand, you know, we all got to evolve with, you know, different slang and stuff. But once again, every woman at some point wants to be picked by a man. So that's I guess that's where I'm a little confused. At. Why should it be just certain women which i don't i do get like because yeah. you got some of these women that do not carry themselves in a wholesome in a mature way yeah. so of course a guy would not want to pick her to be wifey yeah, yeah. he'll just pick her to as you say you know hit and miss but. well see those those are the ones that i call the dick me oh okay yeah, yeah. they don't want to get picked they want to get dick, dick me okay <laughs> wow <laughs> Yeah, I mean, right. so, see, there, in my book, there's only two categories. Pick okay. me or dick me. Pick me right. or dick me. Oh, wow. Wow. Okay. You know what I mean? You know, yeah, listen, yeah. I don't have an issue with the lather. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what, what do you want to be? Listen, <laughs> dude, <laughs> I always say, do you want to be at the crib on Friday night or do you want to be there on Sunday afternoon? It's a big difference. <laughs> That's right. It's a big difference. Wait a minute. Difference. Wait a minute. What's the difference? Friday night. So if you if you were to do it, y'all, why a, per, a woman couldn't be there both days? Listen, if you are there on a it, Sunday afternoon, means something. And I, I I'm not just saying that Sunday afternoon, like that's the day. I'm talking about like you know, no, normally Sunday afternoon is family, dinner, stuff like that. You don't just randomly have anybody at your crib. Sunday afternoon when you're oh, doing no. stuff with the family. No, no, listen, so, you got to go. <laughs> yeah, so Sunday morning, yeah, guess where you going? Man. Hey, listen. You, you ain't got to go home. But you got to get the hell you out, get out of here. Hell <laughs> out here. I, got, <laughs> I, got, I got family stuff. Hey, look, let me tell you, you know the number one line is you laying in bed. Uh, so what, what you, you got to do for the day? <laughs> <laughs> what you about to do today? You're stupid. Hey, man. It's universal. <laughs> it's in whatever language or whatever. What you about to do? Uh, man. <laughs> Listen, if, if, and if they, they like they ain't got nothing to do, then guess what? Well, you know, I got to go to work. <laughs> Listen, I got, I got my mom coming over. I got to pick this fertilizer up. <laughs> and just get, put this, got to get this yard yeah, together man. for my aunt. <laughs> yeah, you, don't even, you don't even got a yard. Oh man, I got to fertilize the grass. Yeah. Tell you what, ain't this shit cement? I'm gonna say oh, shut up, man. I'm gonna say something that I know you ain't gonna want to be a part of. I'm not gonna say nothing that I think you might say. Oh, I want this. I'll ride with you, man. man. You gotta oh, go. Man. Oh man, listen. Before we go to the last comment, give my man El Plaga O oh, a shout out. Plaga in the building, y'all. Shout out to the people in the my man Plaga O oh, in the building. Like, nah. yeah. So let's go to comment number three. I guess they'd rather be a reject me. Facts. Oh, or reject that. me. Reject me is nothing but a dick me. <laughs> okay. Reject me is just another uh, terminology. Is a professional term. <laughs> term. <laughs> professional <laughs> term. <laughs> professional terminology that's, that's to dick me. That's the nice version. That's the nice way of putting it. Yes. Mm, okay. Yes. Yes. And we still get monetized because we didn't curse. Okay. Again, <laughs> do you do you do you go into a. Uh, you going to a, a Mexican restaurant asking for cheesesteaks? No, oh, you know you know what you're going in there for. You're getting a specific thing, so it's the it's the same uh, it's the same mind frame. If you are a woman and you're trying to get picked up by a man, you want to be courted, you want to be whatever. You have to show him what he would like. You can't be who you want to be and then be like, well, how come nobody talking to me? Uh, what you think? <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, it's very yeah, simple. Yeah, you get picked. So listen, drop a like, drop a comment, y'all. Tell us what you think. Pick me, pick me. <laughs> That's <laughs> Shut your mouth, <laughs> woman. Get your ass pick back me. in that basement. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so look, video number three. Shall we go to video number three? 
We ready? Tres. We ready? Guess what? Next week, I'm going I'm to know them, them you know that Spanish. in Spanish. Yes, that's I am. That's what I'm talking yes, about. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Video number three. <laughs> Japanese prisons serve what every day? They serve what? Noodles. That's how I'm going to That is so They racist. serve what? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Credit Interesting Soul 92. Mm-hmm. Let's let Pina start this thing off. Right here. It's the Strong Podcast. Oh. Hey, wait a minute. Now I'm ready. See? Now let's go. What do Japanese prisons serve for meals every day? After watching, it's truly astonishing. Every morning, the selected kitchen duty personnel have to undergo strict inspections by the prison guards, ensuring there's not a speck of impurity even in their fingernail crevices. Once cleared, they begin their cooking tasks for the day. The first dish on today's menu is fried chicken cutlet. To prevent safety issues, the entire surface of the frying pan is covered with a layer of metal mesh. Once fried, the chicken cutlets are conveyed out from the other side by a machine. Despite being a semi-automatic cooking mode, the fried chicken cutlets turn out golden and crispy, rivaling those from high-end restaurants. Next comes the preparation of rice. These rice grains have already been infused with sauce prior to cooking, ensuring they aren't bland even when consumed separately. However, to enhance the rice's texture to the fullest, they also add peas, corn, and carrots into it, stirring evenly before packing them into lunch boxes. Each portion undergoes strict weighing to ensure absolute fairness fairness before being covered and placed into the warming chamber. Moving on to the vegetable preparation phase, washed onions are chopped into small pieces by a machine, while white radishes are manually peeled, sliced in half, and then cut into strips. Throughout this process, the knife must never leave the cutting board, or else it will be met with serious consequences. Afterwards, broccoli is blanched in boiling water briefly, and then removed, while carrots and onions are directly served as a cold dish. Though it may appear somewhat plain. It's certainly not lacking in nutrition. Following this, the plates are arranged on the table one by one with a piece of chicken cutlet and the corresponding vegetables added to each. With this, today's lunch is complete. Once the prison guards confirm everything is in order, the buttered bread dessert and meals are packed together and ready to be delivered to their destinations. At the command of the guards, they can then begin enjoying their lunch. What do you think of the standard of such meals? See, you know, God, that's, what you, call, order that that's, that's what you call respect. They respect them prisoners. Man, man listen, man. let me tell you something. Look, all I want to know is... Look, uh, can, I, do, can uh, I go to jail? Do they door dash? Wait a minute. Right. No. Can I look that up on <laughs> Amazon prison, <laughs> Japanese look. prison chicken cutlet? Look. I'm about to look that up. <laughs> that's your, that's your look how good. clean that's the, Look how clean the table is. Listen, man, boy. I bet anybody that's in jail here in Philly or Pennsylvania, they would love to go over Pennsylvania. here. North America. Man. Uh, look at what Elbow can say. I'll take a piece of that chicken. <laughs> Man, that chicken looked good. It was nice and crispy. Yeah, hey. And then that rice. Oh my gosh. That looked like dinner that I would make on a regular. That's but, why Japan is so ahead of us in everything. That's look, exactly look, why. Because they, just, reform, they just keep they just care about humanity. Everything over there is not about capital, you know, capitalism runs the the United States. So it's like they only care about money. The, over there, you could tell they really care about the, the people. people. In certain places, certain parts, they care about the people, even the prisoners. It's like, okay, you did some, some you did Look, a crime. I done but been, I done been in, in quite a few jails, prisons, and it don't oh, even oh, just, wait just, minute, just looking at the light as, as an inmate or on, as a prisoner. I'm, I'm not gonna let that just slide right <laughs> over my head. <laughs> now, what do you mean you've been in a couple well, of wait prisons? Minute, wait a minute. So <laughs> the lighting yes, in this in this prison is just so bright. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, it's just LED lights. But let's go back to the point of. <laughs> what, what we really want to talk about. Yeah. You it's said a couple business. of prisons. It's, it's a couple is two, business. or is, is it like the business. slang couple where hey. that's going to be more? Hey. I mean, mean, were you a visitor or were you. Hey, why, why you, you know. Nothing? Uh, a uh, resident. Do you have misdemeanors <laughs> or do you yeah, have felonies? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's what, oh, you, look what, that's what, what you, say. you got. Far beneath those orange plastic trays. Yep, let me tell you something, boy. Japan, J- Japan doing a thing, man. Japan doing a thing. So let's, oh, let's go to the comments, man. Let's go to the comments. So first comment. Looks better and more nutritious than my kids get at school here mm, in the U.S. Right. Damn. Again, I'm, I would want to ask anybody, if you ever watch anything Japanese, how many fat Japanese people have you ever seen? Barely any. I've, They've always other than the sumo wrestlers or, or, they, or other than the ones that are American. I right. I'm talking no, about but even, real even still like because like when I go to the gym, I go to the YMCA them 
Asians, they be in there heavy. Like you can tell they did, they just value nutrition and they value like working out. They be swimming and all that other type of stuff. And I'm mm -hmm. like, oh, goodness. go to the Asian, uh, the Asian uh, market on Shawham Avenue. I go in there, take my kids in there to get Paris baguette and all this other stuff. I've never seen a fat Japanese never. person in there. Nope. Never. I've never had. I ain't talking about just a little old person got a little weight. I'm talking about no. fat Rasputia. You never see no big. No, even when the they older. Type of age. No. Even when they older, they're they never, never really they, overweight. They never. Never. Yeah, they, they. I've never seen an overweight yeah. at all. Japanese, you know. You know, they all like, like other than once that's American. Yep. So let's go to uh, comment number two. So comment number two says Japanese prisons seems more inviting than the freedom we claim to have in America. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know about all that now. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know about that? It's still prison. Look at the tea kettle yeah. on yeah, the they, they, on table. They showed you the good part. Just yeah, like everything sure else. Yeah. yeah. Now, Wong Kwong Tran is back there. <laughs> knocking these names. Knocking heads <laughs> off. Him and some young ho is in Ooh. there doing damn doing damage on people. So <laughs> yeah, I don't want to just say that I want to be there. <laughs> oh yeah, they got just good chicken. That's, see, that's stereotypical. We black, we can't be saying we got good chicken in there, <laughs> and then we go in there and, and yeah, you because the typical black person, that's the first thing we yeah. saw was the chicken. <laughs> hey man, listen, I say that. Come on, that chicken look good, yes, boy. Yes, it did. Not that John said came oh comes out gosh. crispy. Not for and me. then how? And here you go, you you uh soaking the rice and sauce. Oof. Oh my god. Not anyway. Listen, I'm not doing a two to four for no rice and no chicken. No, not at all. Cool. <laughs> I, I love I love my freedom. Believe me when yep. I tell you, I love to just get up and go where I want to go when I want to go without somebody telling me. Even though I know Popeye's chicken has uh, got a bunch of chemicals and mutated, it don't even look like a chicken wing no more. <laughs> but I take a Popeye's chicken in my freedom <laughs> over a, ch boy, a Japanese you chicken color. Boy, you mess around, boy, you go to Popeye's, boy, you see an eye blinking at you and shit. <laughs> You get, a, yeah. you get a chicken wing shaped like this. <laughs> like, what the hell? Like, what the? Oh, shit, I'm dirty my glasses. Ain't that a bitch? Yeah. yeah I mean, hold on. What we got? Comment number three. What we got? What we got? The food looks better than some U.S. fast food restaurants. Yep. Right, it do. And that's a daggone prison. Yeah, because they don't do all the chemical, all this, and the, the mm -hmm. fake that. Yeah. I tell you, you know what, man? man? Come on, y'all. Let's all let's commit a crime. No, thank you. No, we can do this. Your own podcast. We in Japan, y'all. <laughs> we can do a scare straight. We can just walk in there. Oh uh, yeah, you know we got some kids that's that's misbehaving. Now, listen, <laughs> yeah. you take them over to the pod and teach them a, a lesson. You take us to the chicken cutlets. Okay? Well, they, I bet they abusive over there. Though. Mm -mm. What Japanese men? They seem. I don't know. Yeah, but they Whoa. interview. Is, is this stereotype or is this yeah. like? Ain't that the damn truth? Uh, is this a stereotype or is this just like I'm just I'm just you know just oh. a thought yeah well, boy, see, look at that boy, they, 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 listen J Japanese men and quarter stray from tea <laughs> honey, that's honey dip y'all we love it's our Japanese dip. brothers yeah, yeah. you know Have what an as a matter of fact you did not introduce me I didn't these introduce, people came I didn't, into, I didn't introduce all these of us these people today. came into our living room and we were not introduced I am honey dip tea see you know what he is just wrong honey dip tea for those that don't Are you finished for real <laughs> you want us to put, play the little harp behind yeah. you? Got this little mini violin. I know we got skip. Shall we go to video number four? All right, video number four. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait before we go. Make sure you drop a like, drop a comment, tell us what you and think. And subscribe. Yeah, I mean, you heard the woman, honey dip tea in the house. Hold up, hold up, Los. You got to tell them where, they, where else they can hear us. Oh, oh my yeah, fault. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Tell them that. Yes, also, you can catch us if you can catch the show live. Or on YouTube, you can catch us on all of your major music streaming platforms. Oh, go ahead and name them. Go ahead and name them. Go ahead and name them. Spotify. Yes. Amazon. Mm -hmm. uh, Pandora. Yep. Pandora. iTunes. Yep. iTunes. We hitting hard. Oh. Yes. Uh, you know what I mean? We, 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 we killing it. Now right make now. sure y'all go follow us on all those platforms. That's exactly. right. That's right. Or oh, we sending Diddy to your house. <laughs> oh, whoa. No, I'll, I'll be at y'all doors. Oh, yeah. oh, shit. Okay. She's worse than Diddy, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> she, she's like, woman, she had, she don't get no curse. She won't get your region right. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, my God. You know what? You get on my nerves. You get on my nerves. <laughs> you had a common courtesy to give me a region round. So, anyway, look, video number four, y'all. <laughs> Should he move on? 
<laughs> yes. I don't even know what it is. Yeah, yes. Damn, let's I move can't. On, I can't even. We yeah. ain't even here today. You ain't seen the video move yet. move on, my man. A man been in the friend really? zone for a decade. No, no. Oh, my Should God. Should we move on? Oh, yes. Hell yeah. Credit the desired truth, the content creator of that of this video Take here. your ass to the military because you just, you too disappointed. <laughs> damn. You try to send him to friend the military? Friend zone for 10 years? Yeah, I know. Let me hear what Mr. this got to say. Oh, let's go. How long have you been friends? Ten years. Yeah, ten years. Ten, ten, going on eleven yeah. years. In that time period, have you never had feelings for each other? No, like he's been just a, such a great friend. So like I couldn't like see the other side of it. Could you ever see her being your wife one day? It's possible. I mean, it's possible. So you wouldn't rule that out. I wouldn't we completely. Never about it. We, I've never a hundred percent thought about it. Um, <laughs> how come it's a possibility in your mind, but for you, you're like, I would just never look at him that way. We've been such good friends. I don't want to ruin the friendship. How could you ruin a friendship by getting closer? Well, you know, like when people take friendships into relationships, they're not meant to be in a relationship. They were always meant to be friends. He just doesn't fit that box? No, I wouldn't say that because he fits all the boxes. He's done. Oh, no, wait, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Because wait a minute. if he, if you're saying he fits oh, all the boxes, why would you, that. why would you not even take it further? Because like, you don't this want his dumb. short ass. That's what it is. Like we gonna call this if, if my pain. thing is, is like, if you want to say an excuse, have a have a valid excuse. You just said you never looked at him that way, but then you just hypocritically just said oh he checks all the boxes so if you never looked at him that way how would you know he checks all your boxes she don't look point blank what, she don't know point? what she wants if he period. checks That's all, all the boxes and he's such a good friend who's that, to say that if y'all become that into that relationship it, it grows even better into something flourishes into something she don't even know. better she could be looking at her future husband right there right, right beside her and a see, man that probably that, provides and look, take and, care and of and her and that be the reason why these men look oh I can't find her and he probably listens to all her stories on, on this this dude that dude and he probably saying damn you he should have just shot his shoot his yeah, shot. But, but, That's what he uh, should have did. Wait a minute, before I pass this to my man over here, and uh, enough with ripping into her kicks. I'm rip, ripping to his ass, my man. Why didn't you shoot my your man? Shot? You got man, damn that shot, shit. You know, you know, move on, bro. Move on, bro. Mm -hmm. Leave leave it alone. She don't want you, man. And I mean, I'm sure she probably you know had plenty of dudes she talked about you, and you like a sap, like a simp. You listen to that bullshit. I'm like, man, I ain't that shit. You gonna let me hit a what? Period. See. Well, I mean, at this point, he said he's suffering. So why he can't remain her friend? Then? then as a friend, you should be getting it. <laughs> really? <laughs> so so is that what you do with all your friends, Carlo? Yep. First of all, I don't have female friends. You I don't? Got, I, got, I got family. I got family. And so is that what you do with your family? That's family. Oh, my God. You, so you don't want to answer the question? No, you don't do that. You don't do it with family. See, I have levels to my to my friendship. <laughs> so you, it's a, what's, the, what's, be, the, what's, the, what's tier number one? Tier number one? Mm -hmm, that's where to start off at. You what's ain't tier? my friend. What, what is it? <laughs> you ain't my friend. Oh, okay. <laughs> so tier number two is what? Tier, tier, tier number two, <laughs> the, you an associate. Okay, then three? Tier number three, you a friend. Okay, and four? Four, your family. Okay. I mean, and when you get to that family, that means I trust you with some of the most deepest darkest secrets and 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 emotions that i may have and if you leak them i may get to kill you oh gosh <laughs> see? Yeah, i mean but yeah see i don't call people i call people family okay i mean yeah but, not, but if it's a woman i'm trying to mess with oh that you ain't my friend you yo i'm trying to get with you i'm trying to knock the the bottom out of that i ain't trying to be your friend yeah but according to you you think like that with every female you come across Cause they ain't my friend. Oh, <laughs> it's a very simple yeah, equation. Yeah, no. I ain't gonna be. I ain't gonna be on the phone with you all night. Listen to you cry about some guy. Man, God, hey, listen. Can you let me can, can, can I get on that teddy or what? <laughs> can I get on? Wow. Look, look, I'm gonna, I'm gonna so, have to get on you. So why she's I'm gonna have to get on you? Why she's spilling out her emotions and feeling some kind of way? Then you got You got to find a way for you to just like. <laughs> Just yes. a little snake behind up on, on up yeah. in there. No, ain't no snake. I'm coming in like a fucking, like a billy club, like a oh jackhammer. I ain't snaking. Hey, listen, let me tell you something. The, be the best way to get over that man, get under this man. 
<laughs> you want you want to get over him? Get out, get under no, this guy. No, get over him by healing first. Then yeah. get then go move on to the new. Yeah, guy. you know you get that coochie heal much quicker. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead, CJ. Go ahead. <laughs> so my for my fellow dark skin brother, let me let me uh, give you some 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 guidance. That uh, fair skinned lady said that you checked all of her boxes. But there was one but not box. The one box. <laughs> you do not check. <laughs> and that's the most important box. So when you never, when she never even, even just in a friendship, when you super duper close, there's at least probably one time where you kind of look at each other with the, I mean, what you, hey, what you, you get drunk or something, something comes up, you like, uh, and you might figure it out like, no, nah, no, this shouldn't have been. But it had never happened one time. Guess what? You did not check the box that she needed to check, my man. So guess what? That's when if you if you need to, you know, um, test the waters, I can invite a young lady out somewhere. We are out. Act like you're going to bite her butt cheek or something. Let's just see what she's going to do. If you go to, you know, bite her butt cheek or something, she says, oh, so you're going to just do that in front of me? Like, what? Then you know, like, oh, <laughs> I got a chance. But if she's like, oh, Marcus, stop, you're crazy. <laughs> you already know. She and you don't got a chance. You ain't. Keep it moving. <laughs> you will still be our friend. But, again, like like Lil said, if she crying, hey, listen, um, yeah, I, I'm sorry that you... Oh, oh man, I'm sorry. I'm busy. Um, uh, yeah, I'm gonna call you back because uh, I, I got something. Like, don't be on the phone. Listen, to, no, no, you you played yourself for ten yeah, years. Ten that's a years. career. Like, you gotta chill, my man. I, you can still be our friend, and don't and don't ever go out and say there's a possibility of being in a relationship where you better screaming from the mountaintop from here on out. No, this is Charlene. Yeah, that's just my friend. Uh, yeah, her box. I ain't even. I don't even care about that. Yeah, nah, you know, I ain't doing that. So let's, let's, let's go to the comment. So the first comment says, just leave her alone, man. I'm sure he spelled man. From the South. <laughs> She's wasting your time and you could be using the time you spend with her to find a woman who actually values you. Right. And that, and what see, do you think, bro? And that be the thing for me. Like... <clears throat> I'm not saying that this is every woman. And I understand if she's not physically attracted to him, then I get it. But most women are not, they're not hell bent on, you know, physical attributes like men are. So the fact that you got this guy here who checks all the boxes. For 10 years. It's just to me, it's like, yeah, you're going to be alone. For you're going years. to be alone because the universe is telling you your man is right here. Right, he's right yep. beside you. He done stood. He's been th been with you through thick and thin. Boyfriends, BS. He's been there for everything. Everything that you've experienced. He will most likely be the perfect husband for her. Yeah. He knows everything about God, her. God is like sure this. Oh. Yes, this God is like. Listen, my dog. I don't know what I, <laughs> don't, know. I don't know what more I can do. <laughs> right. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I'm putting her right there in front guys. Dang. Just dumb. Yeah, but also him too is like, okay, when are you going to ever say something? Like, okay, instead of instead of just being that friend, when are you going to ever take it to the or elevate it to another level? So that's where he should have stepped in too. So but, it's both mm -hmm. of them. But I don't even I don't even think so because this is my thing. At the end of the day. Act, they, don't they say actions speak louder than words? Right. So mm -hmm. if he's showing that he's the man that shows up, when is it? When does she take the accountability to say, "Damn, you know what? He's really doing. He's doing the thing for me. Like right. he's really being that person and saying, I'm pretty sure she's probably never said to him, you know, I notice you. I, I see what you do for me. I appreciate you. Yada yada yada. Nothing. She probably just thank you and going about right. that. That be my thing. Like and, he shouldn't and, have to and, and turn he, around and talk to him about another about another dude. He about shouldn't have to yet. show all the actions and then say, "Hey, you 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 you, you, you want to be in a relationship? You want to be? He's doing everything for you." Because to look, me, it's here just they like, are. They're out at night enjoying he, themselves. No, 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 no. Some, yeah. What he out with her? You need to be out with another shorty. I'm I'm grabbing every hey, what's up, girl? Hold yeah. on a second. No, hey, or, or, because I'm curious if he was to talk to another chick while they together, would she feel some kind of I way? I bet money if she was drunk, she would. She her would. her sober self would she would be on, you know, the women got that pride. I don't, I don't care. She mm -hmm. would be doing all that. The minute she got a little uh little, little juice up in her, she'd probably be like, Listen, <laughs> why are you why are you talking to her? 
What I was see, what man? I tell you, well, when I was young, I was I was vicious, boy. I, yo, yeah, come on over. She come over, man. I come out the bedroom. <laughs> Jackhammer on a hard. Oh, Damn, y'all ain't right out the bedroom just jacking. What's up? How's your day today? <laughs> You want some Kool Aid? Yeah. <laughs> you want some Kool Aid? You want me to stir it up for you? Yeah. Oh my Yo. god! <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Yo, Yo. That's, that's I just be intentional. Look, that's the strong hand for you. Yeah. That's the strong hand. Take my hand. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my strong hand. That's the strong hand. <laughs> tea bags are Kool Aid. Yeah, you know what I mean. I dip it in, let it taste it. <laughs> Too much sugar? <laughs> That's it. Yo. Man, listen. There ain't too many hints you could throw out. Yo, exactly. come on, Yo, man. listen, man. Listen here, baby girl. I'm trying to knock the bottom out no, of your cake. Look, look. Here you got a person, let's say, like CJ. He say all the time, he not good with picking up hints. So what if both of them are like that? They just not good with picking up hints. But it, it ain't even hints. You could tell that he's like invested in her life. Yeah, you. Can. So it's more than just little hints. He's uh, again, men. We don't just stick around just to stick around. Like it's just it, it, you could tell the difference between she's probably that, teasing them. It's, you could tell the difference between a person who's a friend and a person who's interested. A friend is somebody you talk to here and there. You know, you might, um, y'all might, you know. Go out to get some breakfast. It ain't cause something. It's random. It's never like consistent. A person that's into a guy that's into you. If he wants to be around you all the time, he want to be with you. Yeah, come on. He want to be with you. That's the dead giveaway. Yeah. Right. So let's go to the second comment. So second comment is start bringing start bringing. Hose. Oh, I well, we can't say hose. That's no, I'm talking about the hose. <laughs> I'm talking about the hose. Yeah. Well, the yeah. hose. The yeah. hose. Yeah. 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 yeah, the one that yeah. you spray the water with. Yeah, yeah, no, the yeah. hose. Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. Start, 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 start bringing garden hose. <laughs> yeah, start bringing three old fours around, and she'll change her mind fast. I'm telling you. Oh, well, Tiki, what do you think? Do you think that be true? Well, well, think that be look, it's, it's it's the truth. I, I I honestly think that's why I just women said. are competitive. Look, mm, I, I guarantee jealousy. you, the minute he starts talking to other chicks, then all of a sudden she's going to be interested. I guarantee you, she probably already is now. Like, but why waste your time like that? Ten years? Like, come on! I would you don't, be on you don't get that time back. I would yeah, be on, you don't. I'll be on FaceTime. Hey, Shaniqua, you gonna let me bite that butt cheek, girl? <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, Sherrod, how you? Hold on, hold on real quick. Yeah. Hold on. Turn, around, turn around, let me see that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, girl. Oh, you said you wanna go get some, some Chinese? All right, cool. Yeah, I'm gonna hit you back. Like, yeah. Hey, what is this? I'm gonna tell you, me, I would not want some beat up roast beef after you ran through 10 years of men. Now, now you wanna give me your beat up roast yeah, beef with dried up gravy. Is, like, I don't want point, that shit. After 10 years, after all these people, he know she done been with can he even look at her the same look yes. that's what I'm saying I mean, again like, again I, I couldn't as a do man, that because if I know if I'm your friend and I know you done been with this chick and that chick and then all of a sudden that was me and it's like I'm like what I'm now I'm thinking about all them other chicks that you was with as a man I've seen guys who I've seen guys who caught their girlfriends giving up the, the guac guac 3000 and like they caught her doing the act and they just in, so in love with this woman that they forgave her. And so as a man, when you really like something, you can some some men can get over some stuff. So I, I'm pretty sure he don't care about that. He really likes that woman that much that he will look past all her flaws and all everything else yeah. if that's the case he's beyond like i think he might even love her yeah, he probably does yeah and he, he probably does so comment number three she probably like mad relationships for him no mm -hmm. I don't believe so. I don't think he even pursued nothing. You know what? I don't Yo, think. I don't yeah. know what? You know what? I don't think he. I, I really don't. I don't think he's like really dealing with anybody nope. because he's probably keeping himself available, open mm -hmm. and available to her, for her. But it's like at some point, it's like probably I, thinking I don't want to. He needs to mess up my chances mm -hmm. with her. Yeah, but okay, what chances? And it's ten years later. Like I could see if Ain't it was five a, years <laughs> down the line. Ain't that a blip. Like ten years is a long time. Ain't that a blip? <laughs> ten years is a really long time. He got a girl on a booze cruise or something. Man, you get a drunk. <laughs> See if she can get a little loose or something. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean for that I to slip in there. First of all, I wouldn't be surprised if they already didn't. First, he probably already. Wait a minute. He probably already hit. Look, he look, just probably had a see, bad. I'm, I'm hit the type job. of person that I pay attention that I pay attention to to, to body language, and mm. they were standing a little close. 
Nope. They were standing a little close. I can put all, almost all my money on him. Wait, wait. You, you think he hit? No. And it, it ain't go right? Nope. You don't think he hit at all? Nope. I think he is that guy. I mean, most guys would call him a simp. I think he is that guy who is sitting, waiting, and, and, and ready and available from the moment she say, hey, so, you know, um... Marcus, how, how, how about we, you know, try? Yup, he gonna be right there where he don't yeah. wanna. He don't. And at that he point, wa- it's gonna be cobwebs. He wanna make sure that his slate is clean. He don't wanna have any, you know, exes coming to her saying, "Oh, he was this." He don't want none of that. He wanna be having his slate clean so that when his opportunity, when his it's time to bat, he trying to hold yeah. up. Make sure you drop a like, drop a comment, y'all, and subscribe. Still not ten years later. Tell us what you think. Tell us what you think. Well, you know what? First of all. Second of all, all, you ain't say that when you made that man wait five years. What man? Oh yeah, now 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 she ain't like shit. Any man waited five years. What man I made wait five years? (laughs) I don't know what kind of dope he was on. (laughs) What kind of dope was I on? (laughs) (laughs) Damn, damn. Okay. (laughs) Let's go to video number five, (laughs) y'all. So video number five: a Walmart worker has a breakdown calling out Gen Z for being lazy. She addresses working 40 hours a week and can't afford to live alone. What? Oh, gosh. Let's that peanut kick the last video off. It is this jump podcast. Oh. Let's go. I cannot stand how the news has been dogging Gen Z and calling them lazy for not wanting to work a nine to five for the rest of their lives. Let me put it in perspective for everybody who's a little confused here, okay? I work five days out of the week, 40 hours a week, okay? I do not make enough to live on my own. I would not make enough to pay rent, water, electric, and eat. All by myself. I would not be capable of doing that. 20 years ago when you were getting started, you could live on your own. 20 years ago when you first started, you were able to do everything that I am now struggling to do. Let me add another perspective here. You've been working for 20 years. You have 20 years of working experience behind your belt. You have 20 years of experience in a career that has allowed you to gain raises, to get more money, to profit you in an economy that you created. You can sit here and you can call Gen Z lazy all you want, but I've been working my tail end off just to barely make it by. And respectfully, I don't want to do that for the rest of my life. I don't want to work my tail end off, wasting all of my life working just to barely be able to pay my bills. And that is what you created, not Gen Z. We're just here getting started. You've been doing it for the last 20 years. You tell me how it got ruined. We can sit here and we can call Gen Z lazy all you want, but you let the economy turn into what it did. You let it all run to hell. And now it's Gen Z's fault because we don't want to work to fix your mistakes. Take a step outside, you young snap out. I ain't had nothing to do with that. Nah, no, it don't. It don't. (laughs) Because, yeah, granted, yes, we have years of experience, but also at the same time, y'all do still have opportunities. Okay. Um, You can go to any type of trade school, get some kind of, you know, certification or whatever under your belt. Like, they have so many opportunities, and I'm tired of these kids with these excuses. Like literally, I didn't have my daughter say something to me before. Oh yeah, when you was when you was when you first started renting, your rent was a dollar. No, the hell it oh, wasn't. Shit. Damn, <laughs> Jesus <Look>. Christ! <laughs> renting the house in nineteen forty. <laughs> <laughs> but still, like, granted, at the end of the day, like we are struggling too. Like mm-hmm. you know, things are expensive for us too. You know, we still had like literally I went to the market. And I'm like, damn, what the hell did I buy for eighty three dollars in one bag? Yeah. <laughs> Two <ounce. laughs> yeah. In one yeah. bag. Yeah, I have so a bag like, of potatoes and shit. <laughs> like I have skills, I have degrees and certifications and all that stuff, but we all going through it right now. So granted, yes, I do understand for y'all, you know, and which is why I say, Okay, get you a roommate. But don't stop there. Don't let Walmart be like your your last, you know, to go to. Like, okay, yeah, that's where you now, start. Me, off. Don't don't let Walmart be your career job. If you don't want it to be your career job, I'm talking like promoting to like upper management or something like that. Then don't you let don't let it be your somewhere. career job. Let me tell yeah, you something. You do. I started out in retail in a clothing store, Sheltonham Mall. It's a store that used to be called Gallo Clothing. Man, I wasn't making no money off of that, but she, she lying, y'all. I swear to God, she, she lying, was a y'all. drug dealer. I, <laughs> she, she, she was my bottom big back then. Today. Really, really, really? <laughs> like, no, but I gave. I benefits. started out in retail, but at the, at the end of the day, it was like for me, I was tired. Like, no, I want more for myself. I always kept saying, I want more for myself. 
So yeah. y'all got to do the same yeah. thing. Like it was tiring for me too, bro. I can agree with her a little bit. So like the the average one bedroom apartment is nineteen hundred dollars. If you just if you a college kid, say you graduated from college at twenty one, you're not getting the. It's hard to get a seventy five thousand dollar job with no experience. So it's like I do understand some of their points. Is like yeah, stuff is way too high for them as entry level. Like there's not like the entry level salaries meet the requirements to live. But then I agree with y'all on the other side. If you're not at the point where you feel like okay, this meets with you the way you want to live, then go find a way to mm -hmm. get some some kind of skill or some kind of experience or something and then move like the people know me that know me they know i have a 24 month limit if i'm at this job and in 24 months i didn't put in the, the work i didn't gain the skill i didn't took some kind of certification and got some extra knowledge and you have not acknowledged that i've done all that and you're going to pay me the way that i should be i'm out Cause I know that a raise outside of the organization is going to be, you know, could be 10, 15, maybe even 20% more. Whereas here, I'm only going to get a 3% raise. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. if you ain't going to give me the raise that I deserve, I'm not just saying I need a raise cause I've been here. Just look at my work. When you do your, your year end review, look at the work I did through this mm -hmm. year. I'm, I didn't meet expectation. I exceeded it. So where's my money? Oh, you don't have it. Cool. I'm, I'm, cool. I'm gonna be here. at the end of the day, I'm helping you, girl. When you getting all this money based on 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 my um, um, work, that's right? How yeah. So yeah. yeah, but that's that's the thing that they have to learn is like, hey, set some goals for yourself. Don't mm -hmm. just come here and think that just because you come and there's no disrespect to the retail workers and none of that. But like, how much you think you gonna get for stock and shelves? Mm -hmm. Any we can pick any Joe Schmo off the street to do this. So it's not a job that's very valuable it's, we appreciate it but it's not like it's going to change the outcome of this business so you can start there so listen I, I worked at mcdonald's i've worked at mcdonald's so everybody starts somewhere but you got to be you got to have a plan okay this is my time frame and if if you don't meet it then i go somewhere else so l boogie said she need to quit her blood clock crying <laughs> <laughs> we had to get two or more jobs when we needed to and yes we did yeah, I mean, yeah, let's give it let me tell you something now, listen, to piggyback on that we didn't have stuff like i just was talking to uh like they even have online jobs now well, like I was she just could talking do that to during really. the day and an online job later like we have no online jobs I, I just was talking to t on the way here and i'm like yo i talked to this guy that did does toro and he showed me how much money he made. And I'm not saying that you got to go out and get a, a Hellcat or a Tesla or whatever, but save your money. Mm -hmm. All y'all want to do is make money and then go and out and spend it. it. Yep. Go save your money so you can invest in something. You could get something like a, a Cherokee that might cost you, you know, $400, $500 a month. But if you're renting it out every weekend for, it's paying for itself. $150 mm -hmm. a day in it's, two weeks and then pay for itself. Right. So the other two weeks is money in your pocket. And listen, if you if you really want to make money, you can you can make money. Period. Yeah, stop, what? stop yeah. making excuses. Make excuse. So let's go to comment number one. Comment number one, join the military, put your time in, <laughs> learn a skill, and they'll educate you. Better than full time, full time at Walmart for minimum wage. Yeah. I think that, I did all right to shock a nerve right there, bro. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I would never I'm 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 very I would never tell anybody to go to the military. It's not my thing. <laughs> so I, I would stay I wouldn't, you know, I ain't got no comment on that. But yeah, yeah. Uh, all the other stuff, yeah. Put in the time, learn some skills. Mm -hmm. There's a million different ways you could learn some skills and then go apply it in that industry. Yeah. Now, listen, I, when I was young, I wanted to join the military. My mom shut that shit down. No, none of my kids. She was the, like, oh, hell no. I, but I wanted son, to go to, I wanted wanted to, to, fly, go to the Navy. I wanted to be a, a pilot. Yeah, my son. Nah, they, he, they like, we don't like, get hey. your tall, goofy ass hell out of here. <laughs> get send that boy to dumbass on the front line. <laughs> Listen, man, they did our old heads dirty in Vietnam, so man, you know, I don't really believe in the whole military thing. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> Let's go to comment number two. Look, I was just more so for it because it's like, okay, look, if you can do that, get paid and travel and get some more exposure. Like, I mean, I can only expose, especially now that he's 18. It's like, okay, I can only do but so much now because now that he's growing into a man of his own, now it's time for him to start, you know, learning things on his own. So, Comment number two. On average, this generation is doing worse than their parents. I don't think stocking shelves at Walmart was meant to be a career, though. 
Some companies will pay will pay for your your tuition while you work for them, like Verizon. Yeah, it's, it's quite a few companies, especially in Philadelphia. You got Temple that pay for college. You got Chop, mm-hmm. Children's yeah. Hospital, University of Pennsylvania. They pay for for your college. But here's my thing with that. UPS, they this, pay for college. So is, start somewhere. Some of them jobs, they don't even reach back out to you. So I understand their point there. It's like, I do want to better myself. But these places don't, they don't, they're not, they don't, I haven't got that kind of job. So I understand in that in that sense. But again, yeah. that's where I say, go back and get some type of certification. Yeah. Or be, be creative. Go to them job fairs. Like try to try to put your best foot forward. If you just again send in a blind resume, you one of ten thousand people. So it's a it's a you know. And this is another yeah. thing me and CJ was talking about because we was talking about the whole LinkedIn thing. They have LinkedIn. Listen. Like you can you can like really market yourself on LinkedIn. That's my smile. Oh, you got listen. You got to get your ass out. Then you got to hustle. Right. Point blank. Got to hustle. Right. So comment number three. <laughs> this is a little harsh right here right. <laughs> then quit get a better job go back to school or do something other than be yeah. <laughs> about your pathetic life damn just don't what? quit before damn. you find another damn. job right. they go hard boy. <laughs> find another job first then you quit then you quit yes. never quit before you get a replacement <laughs> just don't do that don't do that hey, yeah yeah no, we want, yeah because then you really be crying in the car on tiktok right. like my grandma said bird in the hand is worth two in the bush right. <laughs> right. this joint podcast make sure you drop a like drop a comment and subscribe tell us what you think yes, now we that. appreciate all the feedback every weekend yeah Yes. yes we want to thank y'all for joining us tonight yes yes yes, yes. i put and in the chat all our different platforms that that you can uh subscribe and follow where you can listen to us yeah and i'm pretty sure that um los when he uploads this video he'll post all that stuff and all yeah. that well you know it, listen it is already in there boom okay. they can go hey. straight to any video oh, there right any link, now. scroll down and you'll see all of the music platforms that you can listen to our show on. Why you driving in the car? I was about to say, when you yeah, on your man, way to work, you, know, you, with me, uh, you on your yeah. way to work, you on your way to, uh, you on your way home from work, you done just picked up a nice short, you want to have a nice little yeah. conversation on the way to the to the uh, restaurant. Listen, you, get, you getting in. here while you going oh, to work, yeah. Oh my oh, gosh. It's your podcast. <laughs> <laughs> hey baby girl, hey popping, ain't that? <laughs> 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 hey, hey, your podcast. Listen, we love y'all, man. We, we can see y'all next week. <laughs> Peace. <laughs> Nah. Yeah, I mean, let Peanut take us home. <laughs> it's Miss Drum Podcast. Oh, yes. Deuces, we love y'all. Good night. <laughs> Bye.